Get a pen and a piece of paper to pay attention patiently. M. M. Haruna is my name. We also have argumentative essay. Argumentative essay is where you are presented with two points to support one and criticize or condemn the counterpart. So in this case, you can support one side and criticize the counterpart. But do not only talk about one point and leave the another. For example, to say father is more important than mother or mother is more important than father. You can support father or mother at this, in this case. For example, don't only support the father and leave the mother. Or don't only support the mother and leave the father. You must support one side and condemn the counterpart, the other side. But some people in an essay, they support one side and leave the other side, that is the counterpart. You must support and criticize or condemn. For example, military rule and civilian rule. Don't only support one and leave the another. You must support and condemn. So any piece of writing you are expected to write, you must have written in paragraphs. You have to know that each essay has introductory paragraph, which is one, body paragraphs, which is three to above, determine the number of your point or ideas, then concluding paragraph, where you summarize or you give solution to the problems you discuss in the body. And after that, you have narrative essay, you narrate what happened in the first, descriptive essay, how somebody looks like or how something looks like, expository, explanatory or process analysis, you analyze or expose the secret of how something is done. After that, we also have letter writing. There is another division of composition. Formal letter, informal letter, and semi-formal letter. You know, formal letter is written to the people in high rank who are not your relatives and they are not your friends. And formal letter, you know, it has two addresses. The writer's address and addressee's address or receiver's address. And it has a title, introductory paragraphs, body paragraphs, and concluding paragraph. And it also has salutation at the end, yours faithfully, or yours ever, whatever it is there. So in this case, you must write your later writing also in paragraphs. But in essay, there is no later writing, like there's no uh, address. But in later writing, there must be address. While in informal letter, it has only one address. That is the writer's address without the receiver's address because informal letter is a letter written to your relative or your friends. Therefore, there is familiarity between you, the writer, and the addressee's address or the receiver of the letter. We also have semi formal letter. It's written to the people who are not in high rank and who are not your relative or your friends. In this case, this kind of letter, semi-formal letter, you can write it to the friend of your friend, the friend of your friend, or the friend of your brother, or the friend of your relatives, one of your relatives. They are not in the high position and they are not your friends and they are not your relative. So each letter also must be written in paragraphs. Under composition, you also have summary. Summary, if you read a summary, you are expected to understand the overall idea. When you understand the overall idea there, it is going to be very important for the people to get the gist of the summary or of the essay given to them. That is why the questions come in this way. In two sentences or three sentences or five sentences, tell us why something happened. So you are expected to understand exactly the overall idea of an essay. While in comprehension is different from summary, in comprehension you must understand each word, each phrase, each clause, and each sentence because there should be custom based on that 
that should be custom based on words and expressions, for example, synonyms, antonyms, or idioms, phrasal verb, and so on. You are going to be asked to give the synonyms of some word in the essay or the antonyms or the meaning of some phrasal verb and idioms, idiomatic expressions. Sometimes they can underline a phrase or a clause or even a sentence to tell us the grammatical class and functions of that. So you should understand each word and each sentence because there should be questions based on words, phrases, clauses, sentences, and other expressions. There is comprehension. You have been listening to Express English, an educative program on Express Radio 90.3 FM. M.M. Haruna is my name. Stay tuned. Tis for writing a good essay we have been talking about. So to sum it up, we talk about paragraphs. Any writing must be written in paragraphs. And each paragraph must contain key sentence and supporting sentences. We also have an introductory paragraph where you introduce what you write in an essay. We also have body paragraphs where you discuss the main idea of an essay. We also have concluding paragraphs where you conclude what you write in an essay. And each paragraph also contain key sentence and supporting sentences, while a key sentence sometimes is called a topic sentence, which contain the main idea of a paragraph, while supporting sentences support what the key sentence says. After that, if you know how to write your essay very well, based on paragraphs, you should also learn how to write narrative essay, descriptive essay, expository essay, and argumentative essay, depending on the questions that you face in WAEC, NECOR, or JAM, and any exam in the secondary school or in high institution or universities. At the same time also, you should learn how to write a formal letter, informal letter, and semi-formal letter, depending on the person that you are writing the letter to. After that, there should be summary and comprehension. In summary, you should understand exactly the overall idea of the paper, because they are going to ask you based on the idea. While in comprehension, you are expected to understand each word, each phrase, each clause, each sentences and expressions because there should be custom based on that. These are the tips for writing a good essay. Any student and any person you want to write a newspaper, you want to write an article, any piece of writing you want to write, you must focus your attention on the tips for writing a good essay or any write M.M. Haruna is my name.